Hello everyone. Today we will dive into the world of renowned painter Georges Seurat and explore how he captured the light and magic of nature through his amazing paintings. Georges Seurat was a French painter of the late 19th century and one of the most important artists known as the Neo-Impressionists. Georges Seurat was born on December 2, 1859 in Champ de Mars in the 17th arrondissement of Paris, a suburb of Paris, France. He was born into a typical middle-class family and received an art education. His life was peaceful and undisturbed, and his personality was taciturn and introverted. He was very secretive about his private life and did not talk much about it with others. In 1890, he had a child with a woman with whom he was in a common law relationship. But it is said that no one knew about it for some time. Seurat showed an early talent for art and was educated in it from a young age. He received an academic education at the École des Beaux-Arts. And after graduation and a year of military service, he began his artistic career in 1880 by exploring the northwestern suburbs of Paris and taking a pleasure cruise to the island of Grand Jatte. On this trip, Seurat visited the newly built factories, iron bridges, railroads, and scenic parks along the river. And in 1883 he began a series of preliminary drawings and small oil paintings. That would lead to his first major work, Bathers at Asniers. Seurat ambition first became apparent in 1883-1884 with Bathers at Asniers which shares the characteristics of the Impressionists. This work shares the characteristics of Impressionism, but also has its own unique features. The contemporary theme of working-class men and boys differed from those of Monet and Renoir, who depicted extravagant pastimes. The painting is titled, The Gardener, and was painted between 1882 and 1883. While Seurat is famous for his urban scenes, he also painted rural laborers and landscapes between 1881 and 1884. Initially, he used earthy colors similar to painters like Jean-Francois Millet, known for rural scenes. However, the vibrant colors in this painting show Seurat increasing fascination with Impressionist techniques and his study of color theories, particularly Ogden Rood's Modern Chromatics, which had an American influence. Interested in color harmony and inspired by the color theory of chemists, Seurat devised the pointillism method. In this method, the primary colors are arranged in small dots on the canvas, and when viewed from a distance, the dots combine to appear as colors and shapes, creating a vivid painting without compromising luminosity. In this way, he developed the Impressionist, brushstroke division, on a scientific basis. His first pointillist work, Bathers at Asniers was exhibited at the Independence in 1984. And his large painting, A Sunday on La Grande Jatte 1884 was shown at the 8th Impressionist exhibition in 1986. It was at this exhibition that the name, Neo-Impressionism, was coined. Georges Seurat used a pointillist technique to depict people of various social classes, strolling and relaxing in a park on La Grande Jatte, an island in the Seine River just west of Paris. The canvas depicts three dogs, eight boats, and 48 people, who gather on Sundays to enjoy, nature, and parade. Contemporary characters include soldiers, sailors, fashionably and casually dressed people, old and young, families, couples, and single men and women. He spent two years working on this painting, carefully focusing on the park landscape. He observed the landscape and the people, making numerous drawings and oil sketches, paying particular attention to color, light, and form. He constructed the work on a large 2 meter by 3 meter canvas. The people and landscapes in the painting are closely placed, giving the painting a sense of stillness. But the use of bright colors allows the shadows to be well lit. Trees is one of 40 sketches produced by Georges Seurat for his masterpiece. A Sunday on La Grande Jatte 1884. He differed from the Impressionists in that he worked in his studio through a series of thorough studies. With these sketches, Seurat refined each element of the composition to form a harmonious whole. 
The trees along the riverbank became the focal point, and the appearance of the painting was achieved through the use of colorful conte crayons and a grainy paper surface. Finally, Seurat combined the trees in the foreground, with those protruding from the river, turning the composition toward the water. Based on the optical and color theories of the time, Seurat placed minute dots of paint in such a way that the primary colors and their complementary colors appeared to the viewer as a single hue. This pointillism was believed to be a way to make colors more vivid and emphasized. The painting is framed on all four sides by an almost purple frame dotted with red, blue, and other colors, which is then framed in a pure white wooden frame. Seurat used a newly introduced pigment called zinc chromate. The lighter areas of the painting's lawn consist of yellow with zinc. Yellow and orange and blue dots. Over time, however, the zinc yellow faded and turned brownish. This large work is currently on display at the Art Institute of Chicago, USA. And is said to be, hanging on a wall in Chicago, never to have been removed. While taking contemporary life as his subject matter. Seurat sought to evoke the timelessness of ancient art, especially Egyptian and Greek sculpture. He once wrote, I want to make modern people, in their essential traits, move about as they do on those friezes, and place them on canvases organized by harmonies of color. This is Seurat's first nocturnal painting, and the first to depict popular entertainment. It represents the parade, or sideshow, of the Circus Corvi at the annual Gingerbread Fair. Held in eastern Paris around the Place de la Nation, in spring 1887. Sideshows were staged outside the circus tent, for free. To entice passers-by to purchase tickets. The onlookers at the far right are queued on stairs leading to the box office. Seurat was inspired by what he saw at the Corvi Circus which led him to create a composition that featured the circus and its sideshow act. Although the pointillism method was time-consuming and labor-intensive, it influenced other painters, such as Paul Signac, and the pointillism method became widespread. However, Seurat died in 1891, at the age of 31. From illness while working on circus, the cause of his death has never been determined, and it is likely that he suffered from multiple illnesses including meningitis, pneumonia, infectious angina, and diphtheria. Although he left behind many unfinished projects, he had a profound influence on subsequent artists. The study of pointillism was continued by Signac and influenced later Fauvism painters. The painting is titled, A Man Leaning on a Parapet, and was created in 1881. The painting shows Seurat's early talent in creating precise lighting, strong shapes, and flat, geometric forms. You can also see the dome of the Institut de France faintly through the leaves, which is located on the other side of the Seine River from the Louvre in Paris. Georges Seurat was one of the most important artists, whose unique style of painting and scientific approach greatly influenced the later art modern movement. Thank you very much for watching until the end. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Well then, let's meet in the next video. See you again.